Sorry about that, guys. I really don't know what happened. I, I, I'm going to assume it was my internet because I once I turned off my Wi-Fi and now I'm using my data, but it's fine. I don't use my data often, so it is what it is. Let's continue where we left off. Number four, looking back, that's kind of embarrassing, but this is okay. We will continue. Life goes on. Number four, breathe in. And uh, breathe in. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. And the closing, breathe in. And out. Shake it out. Next, we move on to number five, wagging the tail for the heart and the pericardium. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Breathe in. Out. In. And out. Shake it out. Next one, number six. Jolting back for the immune system. Breathe in. And 
and out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. And closing, breathe in. And out. Next one, number seven, staring at the fist with angry eyes. Remember to open the eyes wide as the fists go out. Keep the fists tense. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. And out. And the closing, breathe in. And out. Shake it out. Last one, number eight. Rising up with the heels to bring the energy to the crowd. To touch on the notes earlier about the expanding, and, you know, extension and compression. This one, I don't really understand how that works outside of your calves because, you know, this is just a regular calf raise. But in terms of energetics, I imagine it's similar to number one and that you could compress this way and open up this way. But with regard to bringing the energy up, I'm not entirely sure how that actually helps that specifically as opposed to, you know, understanding how it works, the organs I get, how it transfers the energy up here, I'm not sure. 
but I digress. Breathe in. And out. Out. Breathe in. And out. And shake it out. Okay. So normally we'd stretch to a little bit of seated meditation, but time is not of the essence. And I really want to detail the form. So when class is over, do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of meditation. But now we're going to go over the form. And hopefully, you know, I can have enough time to detail the next set of movements. And we begin.
very quickly. Let's just go through that last section. It's actually not the most complicated section, so it shouldn't take too long. So from the last single whip, because I believe last class we did the last, uh, that whole thing. I want to say this next move, uh, pat the horse's back. So unlike strum the lute, which is in place, this one you replace the front leg with the back leg and step forward and brush. This is the end position. So one hand's at the waist, the hip, sorry, the ribs, the other straight in front. And that breath is more like a sigh, but through your nose. The next movement, the kick, the hands come forward, up, out, and they meet back up again. Kick out. Now, if balance is an issue, you can do that and then go straight into the next move. But typically it's done holding the kick out slow, then bring it back slow. So again, one more time. From here, replace the foot. This essentially comes to your ear. This hand flips as you step out and the waist guides the hand action. Now the waist also guides the hands this way, back the other way, and notice the way the foot is turning. With the waist, then come up, kick, come back. Now from here, as the hands go down, the foot goes down, or as the foot goes down, the hands go down. And bring the hands up as fist to your temple height. So the hands are gonna be right about there. And let's take it just to the next kick and then we'll save the rest for next week. So from here, Shift back, flashback like we've done before. The hands go down, hands come up with the leg and kick. We'll leave it there. One more time very quickly. So from here, I'm gonna do super high stances just so I don't run out of space. Step. Push forward, pat the horse's back. Interlock. Uh, I don't know words today. Cross the arms. Turn, raising the arms. And rise up. Kick. Come back. Down. Strike the temples, flash back, and rise up, and kick. And that's class. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys are practicing and make sure you get your 24 postures done solo. I definitely want to check that once we're in person, if we can make the time before I decide to teach anything more in terms of another form, which would be 48. I definitely want to make sure that you guys have 24 down before we not mastered, you know, cause I don't even have a master. It's going to take me a very long time. It's going to take everybody a long time, but so long as you have it down and that you can do it without thinking too much about it and you can do it by yourself, then I feel comfortable moving on to something else. That's something that I really want to save for strictly in person because, you know, it's one thing to go over 24, which most of you already knew at least a variant of, 
um, 48. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you know a variant of it. I've not seen a version that's as... I've not seen a version that resembles the one that I know. Like, it's... You'll see when we get there. Um, and then we'll play with that. And that's going to take a while. 48 is... It's... It's at least like doing 24 three times. So it's a long form, but it's really cool. And I hope you guys will be able to enjoy that. But to get there, you need to have 24 down <laughs> by yourselves. And yeah, I think that's about it. Hope to see you all on Tuesday. Hopefully we don't have any, I, well, I don't have any more technical issues next time. Sorry about that. I will. I don't really know what happened, but hopefully it doesn't happen. I'm glad it only happened once out of this whole time. So I think we'll be okay. So with that said, feet together, right fist, left palm, show courtesy. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for sticking with the class despite the technical issues. And I hope to see you all sometime next week. And I hope to see you all in person on Thursday. Bye. Okay, guys, um, I went ahead and, and I, I did the discount. Um, when you apply, it's age-based if you're residents only. So, Liga, you have to go ahead and, and, um, and do everything to be a resident, and then I'll go ahead and I'll apply the discount. Because I you need to set up your account. Okay. Set up your account, and if you want to don't register, okay. set up your account. And then um, you know how to reach me. So once you set up your account, I'll make you a resident. And then that way, it, when you go ahead and register and pay, it'll be, um, it'll be it's a $20 discount. So regardless of how much the cl any class is, it'll be a $20 discount, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I, that's another thing that I was doing when, <laughs> when on the side. All right, guys, have a wonderful time. And um, um, Brandon, for now, we, you have class Thursday at the park next to us at 9 a.m. Uh, this Thursday or next Thursday? Next Thursday. Okay, cool. We're trying to get somebody awesome. else, but it's been approved with a, it will be got registered to be three people. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Wear a mask. Right. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you.